Okay, I'm just gonna do a dry run here on the table with no plaster or anything like that. It's just so you can see the process of how I go about things. And then I'll do a couple of casts in real time. I might speed it up on the camera, etc., and put a little bit of music or something like that. So essentially I start off with my mold. I've got water with jet dry mixed up in my spray bottle. I spray my mold, getting it nice and wet. Make sure it's in all the small little bits and pieces. Then I tap it out really sharply. You don't want bubbles from this left in the mold. So I tap it out real sharp. Then I put it on top of my vibrating mold and my vibrating table. I switch the vibrating table on. My plaster, which I've mixed up. I then very, very gently pour it into the gaps here. Bruce does say you can spoon in it, etc., but you want it to be gentle. And the way that you want to pour it, and you'll see in the live example, is off of the edges of the mold, not into the pieces, but off of the edge and let it run in. Uh, it's important again from removing air bubbles. So I pour the plaster. Once I've poured it on the table, I take my big spatula and I remove it from the table keeping it flat and level, and I put it somewhere else on the table. I let that sit there. It needs to sit for a little bit so the plaster can settle in there. Water will rise to the surface. I can now take another mold and keep on going on the table here. When this mold has sat here for about 10 or so minutes, again, it's the, the time varies depending on the plaster you're using. Trial and error, as Dale said, depending on the plaster you're using. You will, with hydrostone, need to use a paper towel. You'll see me do this in the live demos. And over that mould there, once the water has moved to the top, I lay the paper over the top. And you'll see that will instantly soak up water. Now you'll be tempted to remove that piece of paper instantly, but again you need to let it sit there. If you remove this too early, you're going to end up with plaster all over this piece of paper and it's going to pull plaster out of your mould. Once I've removed it, then immediately I take my, uh, my uh, spatula and I scrape the top. Before I've done that, I've laid a piece of paper over the other mould that's sitting here. So I'm doing multiple things at the same time, and you'll see this in the live demo. Leave the plaster sitting on the table, it's easy to remove later on. Make sure you get a nice, smooth, clean flush. Finish on the top up here. You might want to go one way, it's done at a 45 degree angle. Any more like this and you'll be catching the edges of the, uh, the mould here and pulling plaster out. Any less then and you'll be spreading it all over the place. 45 degrees is what it's done at. Nice and gentle, one clean pass along the top. Again, it takes practice. Then I, I don't move that, I, I, I scrape it and then I let it sit there. Then I remove this piece of paper and I scrape this. Meanwhile, I've got another one over here. Scrape that and off we go. So that's pretty much the process. Then once this has been sitting there, setup time varies again depending on plaster. Uh, hydrostone takes anywhere between 12 to 15 minutes to set up. It's nice and quick. Um, and then I pop the bricks. Pop, 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 pop. Once I've popped the bricks, I rub my hand on the top up here to remove everything from the plaster. So to start with, everything needs to get washed. Everything's wrapped up inside these uh, little bags with uh, talcum powder in them. So basically they just get washed in some warm water. You never want to use any um, detergents or anything like that. Well, I never use any detergents. You certainly don't want to use any cleaning chemicals to clean these moulds. It's going to deteriorate the mould. So you um, basically just want to give everything a nice, nice wash. Just rub the inside of these. You can be quite firm with these. I've never had any trouble with the rubber splitting or anything like that. They're very, very durable. It's just you just want to get rid of talcum powder. Just a quick rinse and a bit of a clean for all of the moulds and we're, uh, we're ready to go. So let's go get these set up in the other room now and uh, see the rest of the process. Okay, so obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is mix up your plaster. I mix my plaster first, then I get my moulds ready because you want the plaster to sit for a little bit of time. Doesn't matter what sort of plaster you're using, you need clean, cold water. Just a little bit in the, in the cup. You can go to a whole bunch of extremes to measure out how much plaster and stuff you're going to use. I might get into that further down the track. Once you've got a little bit of water in your cup, 
you want to start adding your plaster to it. Now don't dump it all in there, you want to sprinkle it in there. If you dump it in there, it's going to uh, create a whole bunch of air bubbles in there. You just want to gently, gently add it in there. Until you can see the plaster start to sit just below the surface, you want to add just enough plaster. Again, it depends on what type of plaster you're using. With the Hydra Stone, I add plaster just until I can see it below the surface and just until it starts cracking and I'll see if I can get it on camera before it dissipates. So you can see the plaster is sitting just below the surface. More plaster. Plaster does go bad after a little bit of time. So you want to keep it fresh or keep it in the bag that it came in and make sure it's protected from moisture. Hydrostone seems to keep the longest. You can see now how the water's soaking up into that plaster in the middle. Still need a little bit more. Almost there. There we go. Now you want to stir this gently. You're not trying to introduce air bubbles into this, so don't glob it around. Just a nice gentle stir. Now you want to stir this for a couple of minutes. At least a minute. At least. Because what you're trying to do here is mix in that dry plaster into the water. It's like dissolving sugar in coffee. If you put your sugar in the bottom of the cup and then you add your water, the sugar doesn't dissolve instantly. You've got to stir it around for a little bit for it to dissolve. So that's what we're doing here is dissolving the plaster into the water. Mixing it up really, really nicely. So that way when your blocks come out, they're not going to be powdery. It's like a thin cream, thicker than, thicker than milk, thinner than cream. Make sure you've got no dry plaster in the cup. Make sure you've got paper towels handy. Okay, lovely. So I've got my plaster here, I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit, I'm going to tap it on the table just to help bring air bubbles to the surface. Now I'm going to start preparing my moulds. So I'm going to do, uh, I've got a fair bit of plaster there, so I'm going to do uh, the pipe moulds first. Get yourself a towel because you'll need that. Get in there with your jet dry and water. Make sure you give it everything a good spray. Get it in there, let it rinse around. And then tap it out. Pop them up on your, uh, your workspace. I'm gonna put the vibrator on in just a second. Plaster's been sitting there for a little bit. Put the vibrator on. Oh, now normally I'd have a piece of plastic over the top of this. I'm just going to grab that real quick. So I keep the plastic over this. It just makes it easier to clean. Plastic will crack off of this. As you bend this, etc., the plastic will crack off it. Okay, so on goes the vibrator. You can probably hear it running now. And then just very gently, I uh, run my pour. You want this to be one continuous long motion. 